Hi Taurus, welcome to your general reading for the 12th to the 18th of December. I'm toying with this idea of putting the cards out first. I'm not sure about this yet. I've done it with the others, so I'm doing it with you. Five card spread. So we've got present position, present expectation, unexpected, short-term future, long-term future. Short-term future is obviously the next week, you know, Monday through Sunday. Long-term future, one, two, three weeks. It won't roll into 2023. It's the next yeah, one to three weeks, then you'll be done. A couple of cards on the bottom. First of all, we've got the uh, Queen of Pentacles. You've got two queens here, actually. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, which is the universe is giving you a safe space. You know, sometimes you're a bit, do I, do I ask this person out? Do I go on this new adventure? Do I become all entrepreneurial and try this new idea? You know, new, new, new. And, and there's always that little thing in the back of your head, isn't there, of... Do I do it? Do I not do it? The universe is going, just try it. You know, we, we're not going to let you fall off a cliff. We'll let you get to the edge and then we'll go, you may want to step back now. So universe is providing a safe space this week. The other card you've got is the moon card. Um, and again, I'm not reading right away because if I did, I might just as well get the right away deck out, which I have at hand and I do sometimes use if I need clarity. This is the oldest deck I've got. Um, but if you're going to do that, then you're just reading from the same book all the time. It doesn't really work that for me, I don't think. So what I'd rather do is read the cards as the the, the author of the cards intended. So the Moon card has many different re um, readings and understandings, and but it's, it's generally the sort of... My personal take on it is sunlight is, is the real thing. You know, the sun warms your skin, whereas moonlight is sunlight bouncing off a marble in the sky, albeit a very big marble. So it's not real, it's just a reflection of something that's real. And that, to me, sums up the Moon card. You know, is it real? Is it in your imagination? Is that is it too good to be true? There's a there's a feeling there as well. These two cards work really nicely together because you're looking at you're wondering if this is the right thing to do and you're going into your intuition and you're going into the, the unknown, the mysteries and um, imagination. What if, what if, what if? And that card behind it here, the Queen of Pentacles is going, it's fine. Just try it, you know, see what happens. See if it works out. <coughs> Pardon me. Ask that person out. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. So let's do your top reading first and then I'll, I'll clarify with these cards. And again, I've drawn them all already. But you've got the Three of Wands, which is leading by example. It's it's in this case, the gannet is really focused on this particular school of fish and that particular fish. And it's diving down with real focus and attention and determination. The Two of Wands has passed. That was getting things in motion. This is this is action now. This is things moving Um and you're doing it so well, you're actually drawing the attention of other people. You're kind of leading by example. You're inspiring people to follow your actions. This is really interesting because you've got the same card twice. You have the um, Seven of Pentacles, both versions of it. This version of the Seven of Pentacles talks about... They both talk about a time of respite and sort of stepping back and looking at what you've done. This one is more of a balance. It's saying, you know, six of these coins are being used to kind of pay off the list. And you've got one left over and this one is able to create more. So it's a it's a pause after hard work. It's a pause after recognition. If it was a business, it would be, you know, well done on quarter three. Let's see if we can do the same in quarter four. So it's, it's like, well done you. What's the next step? Yeah. Um, the unexpected, really simple, best card in the deck. You've got the sun card. It lifts all the other cards. That's quite important as well. You don't have any sour cards here, actually. But if you did, it would kind of take the acid tang out of those cards. It, it negates the devil card and softens it off. It won't It won't take it away. You know, if you've got a devil card in reading, there's a reason it's there. But it does soften it off. These cards are, are already great. So you made a good reading into an excellent reading. So what's unexpected is just how joyful and celebratory this week's going to be. Um... That's because you're you're not working alone. You're working with other people, and there's that joyful sense of <clears throat> partnership and symmetry, and and yeah, really wanting to work together really well. It's hard to read this because you you've got the seven twice here. You've also got the queen and king of cups together, so that's really powerful. When you get the queen of cups together, it's it's talking about the complete you. It's it's talking about the feminine, the masculine side. <clears throat> of our nature's working in perfect harmony so you know if you did if you did it really literally and said 
the masculine side is a bit more roll your sleeves up and get on with it and the feminine side is a bit more well let's think about it and are we doing the right thing imagine if you've got both those things working in harmony really powerful card really powerful energy here she's all about balance you've got the koi carp down here making a, a yin and yang symbol around her feet she's manifesting angel fish out of her subconscious it's a a tender gentle nurturing loving energy um it's just beautiful it's, it's great you know it it softens arguments it gets people to do what you want them to do but they they're coming along for the ride because they want to do it there's no there's no force behind this that's not to say you're weak far from it um but you're not manipulating you know it's it's a this is a great idea why don't we do this and everyone's going that is a great idea let's do it and then Taurus, you finish off the week with the magician best card in the deck as far as i'm concerned because it is the best card in the deck um all the tools are at your disposal as above so below you're, you're not only completely imbalanced on the sort of masculine and feminine energies you're completely imbalanced in head and heart and as above so below you know wants and needs they're all perfectly balanced this is about someone who knows what they want this week and knows how to get it or <clears throat> pardon me knows what they want this week and wondering if they've got the ability to do it the magician card is just a big fat tick it's going oh yes you have absolutely no doubt about it and then these cards on top here they all just kind of it, it's been a really good reading this one Taurus. they've all reinforced what's going on you know you're burning brightly here your focus your inspiration leads to the um seven of wands it's interesting you've got three sevens as well I'd be interested to see what the sevens are about um so sevens could be important or seven 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 i'm going to let you go away and investigate that i'm just doing the straight up reading here but this is a really simple read isn't it this is you shining brightly this is you shining out of the darkness this is you leading the way it's leading inspiring it's driving it forward all these cards here this is the only time this has happened in the readings and i think we're on your reading eight of twelve um they all they've all kind of built on the one underneath they're all kind of rubber stamping the one below so here you know you've got the seven of pentacles I wonder what that means it means the seven of pentacles now in this deck this particular one this is a you're wondering if if you've come as far as you you thought you should have done you're wondering if the rewards are matching the the effort so you think you're doing a fantastic job now it could be a job or it could be in a relationship with your your parents your siblings your other half and you're a bit sort of i'm i think i'm being amazing and they just think i'm good now what this card talks about actually is <clears throat> pardon me that's only your interpretation of it so you need to dig a bit deeper in this um how can i put this sometimes you think you're doing a fantastic job and unbeknown to you your partner thinks you're doing an absolutely out amazing job they just haven't told you so they're agreeing with you but but subconsciously you're not aware of it other times you might think you're doing a so-so job and your partner thinks you're doing an amazing job the only time this doesn't work is if you think you're doing an amazing job and they think you're not that's not what i'm seeing here at all this is all you this is all a very powerful read this is you on top of your game this is you leading by example driving it forward everyone's really happy i think this card is going you're, you're going shouldn't i be on more shouldn't i be on a better salary by now and this card's going really you know check out what what everyone else earns on this job doing what you're doing and they get paid the same and they don't have it as as good as you do you know it's, it's that kind of thing so this card is just a it's just a question hmm shouldn't i be shouldn't shouldn't people love me more shouldn't people respect me more shouldn't people pay me more money maybe not it could be that it's just a pause it's like yeah you're doing a cracking job you're being rewarded for it you've been well rewarded for it you've been well thanked for it stop demanding the impossible um <clears throat> the other thing tarot does do though it could be that could be exactly the question you could go to your boss and go i feel like i'm a 10 out of 10 i think you're paying me like i'm an 8 out of 10 yeah only you know the answer to that one but the fact it's on top of the other it normally means that that card is the important one so you know go online and see what other people say about the seven of pentacles but yeah seven of pentacles is your card this week on top of the sun card in the unexpected position you've got the three of wands three of wands in this deck is about two significant others coming to help you out supporting you could just be a nod of the head it could be a little push in the back going yeah well done you it doesn't have to be financial it doesn't have to be real you know it just wants to be a you know sometimes you just want to call your mate and just have a bit of a chinwag 
and all you're really asking you're not asking them anything you just want you just want the words to come out of your own mouth and your own brain and just live somewhere and they might just sit across from you nodding their head going uh-huh 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 and an hour later you go thanks for that and they go uh-huh you know that's all they needed to do just just listen to you but if it's more important than that these people are there to step up and step in they're also really proud that they're, they're overjoyed to be working in this situation there's no negative here at all on top of the queen you've got the king steady on um <clears throat> and as we've already discussed you know i call him the king of cool he's, he's like super laid back doesn't let anything worry him he's a master of his emotions in terms of he knows what anxious is and frustration is and and power and real power he's, he's one of those people that just kind of yeah this is going to kick off so we're going to leave or he goes he's not going to kick off they're all mouth and trousers you know there's a a real subtlety of understanding people's emotions so he's very aware he can sometimes make him hyper aware so he's a bit oh that person looked at me in a funny way and the person didn't even see you at all so that's the downside of this card but balanced with the queen i think you're going to be in a good place i think you're just on top of it emotionally you're just riding the crest of the wave and then on the top of the magnificent um, magician you've got the ace of swords ace of swords is that sheet lightning you know when when the sky goes completely white it's all high contrast and you can see everything in a nanosecond that's what the ace of swords is you you literally see the bigger picture you know exactly what's coming up this week you should have listened to this reading just nodding your head all the way through so what i would sum it up with is this is your important card here the seven of pentacles go away and, and find out what seven of pentacles means to you to me it is you know reward after effort or people are seeing what you're capable of but it is very much a well done in quarter three now go on to quarter four well done for being the best partner ever boyfriend father brother sister whatever now now be even better yeah and, and it's not an impossible goal it's just you know yesterday you were amazing what are you going to do today you're going to be amazing again absolutely you know that's the minimum i'm looking at you've got a safe space to do it in and then the moon card relating to this reading is, is just listen to your intuition you know if there's anything that's a bit signs and portents you know cats ladders anything like that are you feeling lucky are you feeling like you shouldn't go down that road don't go down that road this week you know the moon card is very much find the path between the trees and i, d I don't know if you've ever done that but say you come to a a fork in the road and, and just before you step onto it you kind of go definitely don't go left i don't know why but something on my shoulder just tugged me and said go right it's that kind of thing this week it's going to be a little tug on your shoulder a little push in your back if you're doing the right thing you're going to keep going but you're just going to nail it with this magician and the ace of swords fantastic week taurus you deserve it i will see you next week for more of the same take care